mango eating mice children won't eat mangoes during summer vacation is that even possible gattu chinki were also nagging for mangoes during their summer vacations dad let's go to the market and bring mangoes okay okay where are the mangoes running the season has just started good mangoes haven't even come to the market and the mango rates are skyrocketing let some good and cheap mangoes come to the market then we will go gattu and chinki started crying after hearing this one day gattu and chinki were playing at hari's place when hari's mother brought some bowls in the tray aunty what have you brought i have brought some mango juice for you on hearing the name of mango juice gattu chinki's mouth started watering both of them picked the mango juice and drank it all in a jiffy easy children looks like you haven't eat mangoes till now yes aunty our parents haven't brought mangoes yet we also haven't brought from the market hari's grandparents have sent from the village grown in our farm in the market mangoes are being sold at high rates and also we don't know what kind of powder they apply on it that's why every year we ask for mangoes from the village itself aunty our uncle also has a big mango garden we go to our village and have a lot of mangoes during our summer holidays but don't know if we will get a chance to go this year or not suddenly the doorbell rang and their mother opened the door a man was standing outside with many boxes madam i have come to deliver these mangoes hearing this both mom and dad were shocked oh but we didn't ask for mangoes madam i have come from the jannat fruit market we had brought mangoes from your brother he had asked us to bring some boxes of mangoes to your house so i have come to deliver those mangoes mom and dad became happy after hearing this oh wow gattu chinki's maternal uncle has sent mangoes that means no one can stop gattu chinki now if they see so many mangoes at once then all the boxes will be empty in a day and then they will fall sick so let's do one thing we will hide some boxes in the storeroom then with the help of the delivery boy all the mangoes were kept in the storeroom after a while gattu chinki came home the mango juice was so yummy yes it was so yummy whatever happens today we will take dad to the market gattu was talking when suddenly he stopped and started sniffing something what happened why are you doing this one minute the smell of mangoes i can smell mangoes in our house what i can't smell anything my nose could never deceive me of course mangoes have been hidden in our house smell this chinki took a deep breath and she got the smell of mangoes with it yes i can also smell the mangoes let's go we'll find out by sniffing where our parents have hidden the mangoes and then both of them started sniffing and following the smell of the mangoes they reached the doors of the storeroom oh so the mangoes are hidden in the storeroom chinki go and bring the keys of the storeroom chinki runs to bring the key and then they opened the door of the storeroom and they were surprised to see what they were seeing A lots of boxes containing mangoes were kept in the storeroom. From the smell, it looks like these mangoes have come from the field of our maternal uncle and we would eat all the mangoes. That's why mom has hidden the mangoes here. The lion's mouth has got the taste of mangoes, Jinky. Now no one can stop him. And then, Gattu Jinky opened the box of mangoes and emptied them in a jiffy. In the evening mom opened the door of the storeroom. Let me take out two mangoes for the children. That's when their mother saw that the two boxes were empty. Huh? Where did the mangoes from these two boxes disappear? Mommy came to the hall running. Got to chinky, tell the truth. You stole mangoes, didn't you? What happened? Two full boxes mangoes are vanished. What mom? We didn't know that there were mangoes in the storeroom. And if they were, the rats must have eaten them. We haven't ate them. That's when Mom noticed the clothes of Gattu and Chinky. Both of them had stains of mango juice. Seeing this, their mom smiled and said, "Yes, two 
mice have eaten the mangoes and those two mice are standing in front of me and they also wear clothes hearing this gattu chinki looked at each other and then noticed their clothes and seeing the stains of mango juice both of them said in shame shit we forgot to remove the stains don't worry mouse stains are good after hearing this from their mom along with their dad gattu chinki also started laughing rain and gattu chinki's umbrella if kids won't like rain then who will gattu chinki was also eagerly waiting for the rainy season to come the summer was about to end and so did the summer holidays the fun of going to school in the rainy season is something else gattu chinki were also waiting for this golden opportunity one day both of them were standing in the gallery waiting for the rain what man june is about to end but still it's not raining don't worry i saw the news yesterday it said today it's likely to rain i can't seem to find it the sky is crystal clear how will it rain suddenly the weather changed the sun disappeared and the sky was covered with dark thick clouds a strong cold wind started blowing lightning started flashing and it started raining heavily yay that's what i said look it's raining yes man i don't know how suddenly magic happened come on let's dance sing Then what? Gattu Chinki ran out of the house. Gattu Chinki, stop! You will fall ill. But as if they were going to listen, both of them were dancing, singing in the rain with the rest of the society children in the society campus, and were enjoying the rain by throwing water at each other. With the rainy season, the schools reopened, and Gattu Chinki reached the schools with umbrellas. Their parents had bought cute, small, colorful umbrellas for Gattu Chinki. Both of them carried those umbrellas to the school with them. When Mishra sir reached the class, he did not see a single kid. Only the umbrellas were visible. Hey, where did the children go? Hearing this, all the children raised their umbrellas and showed their faces to Mishra sir. We are here, sir. Seeing this, Mishra sir started laughing. <laughs> hey, children. I thought today the umbrellas are sitting in the class as students. Tell me one thing, why have you kept these umbrellas open in the class? Sir, it's raining. We will get wet. You don't need umbrellas for that. The roof is enough to protect you. Sir, if the rain tore the roof, then only umbrella would work. Mishra sir laughed, hearing Chinki's answer. Okay, that means your umbrellas are stronger than the roof. All right. Today I will teach your umbrellas along with you. Come on. Umbrellas and students, open your books. Even in drizzling rain also, Gattu Chinki kept coming to school wearing their umbrellas. A few days passed and suddenly the rain stopped. Again the sun started shining brightly and Gattu Chinki got angry, still thinking that rain would come. Both of them kept coming to school with umbrellas every day. But the rain completely disappeared. What yeah this umbrella has become a burden yes if it is not raining then what use of umbrellas we won't bring umbrellas from tomorrow that day gattu chinki decided that they would leave the umbrellas at home both were now bored with the umbrellas school was over and gattu chinki started walking home carrying their umbrellas hari and other children of the society were also coming along with them I saw the news yesterday. The weather department was saying that there is no possibility of rain for a month. So we will leave the umbrellas at home from tomorrow. Oh no! Then you will have to bring an umbrella. It is completely opposite to what the weather department says. It will definitely rain tomorrow. While Hari was saying that, suddenly the weather changed. Clouds covered, strong wind started blowing, lightning started flashing, and it started raining heavily. Seeing the rain, all the children started behaving like tadpoles. They opened their umbrellas and started dancing, shaking the umbrella here and there in the air, welcoming the rain. Due to the strong wind, Hari's umbrella turned upside down, and then Hari got drenched in rain. The other kids also closed their umbrellas, and they too started getting wet with Hari and started enjoying the rain. 
Then suddenly Chinky's attention fell on a beggar sitting on the footpath. The poor man was getting wet in the rain and was sneezing due to cold. Seeing that, Chinky felt pity for him. We have umbrellas, yet we are getting wet. That poor man doesn't have an umbrella. That's why he is getting wet. He needs this umbrella more than we do. Then what? Chinky opened her umbrella and went to the beggar. And she gave him the umbrella. The beggar was happy after getting the umbrella. What was it then? Chinky jumped again and joined the rest of the children. And all the children danced and sang in the rain and went towards their house. Welcome winter. The days of November were going on. November means cold winter days. In the morning light, Breeze came to Gattu Chinky's bedroom and knocked on the window. And because of the cold, Gattu Chinky covered themselves with a blanket and thought to sleep for some more time. It was 8 o'clock and mom came to wake them up. Hey, get up. It's 8 o'clock. The winter has started. Better than sleeping here like a sloth bear, you two could have come for the morning walk with us. It was really fun, you know. Hearing this, the two chinky threw their blankets and immediately sat on the bed. What? You guys went for a morning walk? Why didn't anyone tell us? Oh, we started going from today only. So we rang the text in the morning and we suddenly left. You both were in deep sleep, so we didn't wake you up. Who else came? All were there. Sudhir uncle, Megha auntie, Vishal, Hari, Guddi, Secretary Saab. It was great fun. We were so enjoying. We didn't even realize when we reached the Savitri garden. We will also come from tomorrow. Mom, as soon as the winter starts, the weather becomes really colorful and exciting. Yes, but it is just a little cold right now. But when it will be really cold outside, then you will not feel like getting out of the bed also. And I am warning you both, from today itself, no eating things from the fridge. Hearing this, Gattu laughed and said, Mom, do one thing. Just put a big log on the fridge. Very funny. Come on, get up quickly. You have to go to the school. It was afternoon. Gattu Chinky had gone to the school. Mom took out everyone's sweaters from the cupboard. Everyone wore sweaters in the evening. Wearing sweaters, Gattu Chinky, Mom and Dad, everyone looked really fat. With the sweaters on, we are looking like bears. Your jokes only suit you. It was not as bad as the jokes that you forward on the family WhatsApp group. It was a lot better than that. Which joke did I forward? A farmer gave a cheer to the beer. The beer said, I am the beer. Then why should I cheer? On hearing this, along with Gattu Chinky, Dad also laughed. But as soon as he saw Mom, he changed the topic immediately. Come on, let's go to bed early after eating. But isn't tomorrow Sunday? Oh yes, but tomorrow we all have to wake up early and go on the morning walk. The next day, Gattu Chinky, Mom, Dad, along with the rest of the members of the society, went out for a morning walk towards Savitri Garden. On the road, there were people from other societies who were also walking while talking in their own groups. The atmosphere became really nice in the morning. It was really fun. Then everyone warmed up after coming to Savitri Garden. After that, Sudhir uncle taught yoga to everyone. And then after an hour, everyone came back home. That day, mom made almond burfi for breakfast. Almond burfi? Wow! Hmm, we should eat good and healthy food in the winters. My grandmother used to say, whatever you eat in the winters, it directly affects the body. And we become really strong. Tomorrow, you will get jaggery pudding. Yes, absolutely right. In winter, the urge to eat is also more. We drink less water and eat more food. Winter is the best season to gain weight. In the afternoon, mom made green vegetable and millet roti for lunch. And with it, white radish, carrot and garlic chutney was also there. That too chinky made faces after seeing veggies for lunch. But as soon as they had the first bite... Wow! Green veggies? It's really tasty. Fenugreek curry, radish, 
What a yummy dish! Millet and fenugreek are hot in nature and they are also rich in nutrients. So, to keep the body warm in the winter season, we should have fenugreek, spinach, cauliflower, radish etc. in our diet. In the afternoon, everyone came to the mall for shopping. So, mother carefully picked up moisturizers and took them in her trolley. In the night, everyone massaged their skin with moisturizers. Now the cold is increasing. In winter, the skin becomes dry and lifeless. So it should be moisturized by any means. It gives healing to the skin. So the skin does not get dry and it doesn't chap. Chinky, your lips are really dry. Moisturize them properly. Then everyone fell asleep. The next day, Gattu Chinky got up at 5 o'clock in the morning. And after getting ready, they went out on morning walk with everyone. It's 6 o'clock, but it's still dark outside. Sun, during winter, nights get longer and days get shorter. Around 5 o'clock, the sun will set today. Everyone was walking. It was very cold outside. But due to walking, they started feeling hot. The atmosphere was really enthusiastic. In front of a shop, some people were sitting lighting a bonfire while chatting with each other. What a wonderful atmosphere! Everyone is gathered near the fire and gossiping with each other. Suddenly a thought came into Gattu's mind and he said, Why don't we also light a big bonfire in our society campus one night? Everyone will come down. There will be a lot of singing, dancing and gossiping. What a night it will be! Gattu, what an idea! We will also keep a name for this program. And every year we will do this program in our society campus. Some will play guitar, some will sing songs, some will tell stories and some will act. What to be named? Welcome winter! Yes! Welcome winter! Then it is fixed. We will welcome winter on Sunday night. A bonfire was lit in the society campus on Sunday night. All the members gathered near the fire and started taking the heat. A lot of gossips were happening. Then Vishal Bhaiya started playing the guitar and started singing all the songs. And while singing and dancing, that to Chinky and all the society members welcomed winter. अगर आपको हमारी वीडियोस पसंद आ रहे हैं तो इन्हें लाइक करें कमेंट करें और सब्सक्राइब करें